everyone, this is Walker Kelly with Monday Scientific Instrument Service. Today we're going to be showing you how to disassemble an Icon dual head bridge system. We're going to start off and just go ahead and highlight the components of the system. So you have your main head on the microscope as well as your secondary head. This is your illumination piece or pointer. And then here you have the tube connecting to the splitter. This is also just the stand of the microscope, you guys know about that. Okay, for the first step, we're going to be showing you how to remove the heads off of both sections of the microscope. First of all, you're going to go ahead and find your nut eye pieces and remove those and set them to the side somewhere safe. Once those are out, you're going to go ahead and locate the silver screw on both sides. It is right up underneath the head. Um, notice that it is not the one on the stand, but it is the one on the illumination piece. Go ahead and loosen that a few turns slide the head off and set that off to the side. Do the same for this one. Next step, we're going to go ahead and show you how to remove the bridge tube. You'll notice here that there is this collar with a knurling on it. You're going to go ahead and twist this away from you and it will slowly start to loosen. Don't be too worried if there's a lot of noise, the threads are a bit squeaky. Okay, once that's disconnected, you're going to go ahead and take this and flip it upside down. And you notice there's another knurled section here. You go ahead and twist this to loosen. how you remove the adjustable stand. And if you'll notice on this section, it has two viewing ports. This is not common of all of them. Some of them will have this one blocked off, or some may even have another section here where you could connect another viewing tube should you use a multi-head application. The third step of this process will be to go ahead and remove the illumination section or the pointer section. So you're going to go ahead and loosen up the lower silver screw until you get a little play in this. Then you can just simply lift it off and place it to the side. Now we're going to go ahead and show you how to remove the nose piece. To start off, you're going to want to lower your stage as low as you can get. scratching of your object, maybe your objectives. Then you're going to take your wrench from the lower right hand side of the scope and slip it into the small screw hole right up underneath where you would mount the head. You'll notice it's in line with the silver screw so it's a little easier to locate. Then you're going to loosen a few turns. Then the nose piece is going to slide forward and then you're going to feel it stop. Then you just lower it down and you take it out. Okay, for the next step, we're going to go ahead and show you how to remove the stage. You're going to take your wrench again, and there's a small hole in the very front of the stage. Simply slip it in and loosen the screw a few turns. Once you're done, put your wrench to the side, lift the stage up, take it off, and set it to the side. All right, now for the final step, we're going to go ahead and show you how to remove the condenser. So if you've been following along, you're going to have the stage bracket lowered, so you're going to want to go ahead and bring that back up. You have to bring it all the way up just a few turns. Then you're going to use this knob right here to lower your condenser so you can get good clearance to take it out. There is, if you'll notice, a small screw right here behind this larger silver knob. This is the screw you're going to insert your wrench in. Once your wrench is in, just loosen it a couple of turns and slide out your condenser and start to the side. So that is the steps on how to disassemble a multi-headed Nikon. 
if you're interested in how to reassemble it, just go ahead and play this video in reverse. Um, and as far as packing is concerned, if you'd like to know how to pack, we do have a video on how to pack an Olympus BX41. However, the principles are just the same as if you were to pack any microscope. Double box everything, wrap everything in bubble wrap, and pack it well and secure so it doesn't move during shipping. Thank you for watching, and you have a nice day.